All right, so picked up this Badland uh, 12,000 pound winch. It's been quite a while back now. Uh, had a coupon for it. So I grabbed it up while it was cheap. And I grabbed this uh, little Badland Reese Hitch um, cradle for it, both from Harbor Freight. So I got this um, receiver tube. What I'm going to do is cut cut a hole here in the trailer. You can see I already marked it out. And uh, I can't really center it up because the jack's in the middle, so that's that's off a few inches, about six inches over to the over to the side of the center. But anyway, needed a winch to go uh, on the trailer if I need or whatever. I can kind of put it wherever I want to, where it's on this hitch, but. Anyway, going to cut that hole out, and um, we'll slide this receiver tube through that hole. Basically, just past the the hole in it for the pin to go through. That way, if anything ever happens and the welds break, it's going to be behind this uh, metal as well. So, um, you know, I welded up good. I may even put a little bit of a brace to it, but kind of wanted the the pin to be on this side plus it gives me a little bit more deck space with getting the winch over as far forward as i can but it don't really matter but anyway uh just wanted done on here so i can haul junk home that um that may not run or needs to winched up on the trailer so uh probably could use a plasma cutter to cut that but i'm just going to use a cut off wheel see how tough it is if it's too tough i'll drag out the plasma but yeah, let's see if we can't get that uh that hole cut out right there. Something like that right there is what we'll have. Yeah, let's get that cleaned up and uh, wood it in. Well, yeah. I said you filming. Yeah. Are you miss running the dump truck? It's been two months. Yeah, we'll fire it up today. It's been two months. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? December, it was December 15th. Oh. <laughs> well, let's clean this up, then we'll start the dump truck, okay? All right. Let's weld it. All right.
there we cleaned up uh, kind of where we're going to weld it there so i want to weld just in front of this hole so this will go kind of through like this so you can see that's about how i want it to go so just in case there's some kind of failure that at least the pins through the frame of the of the uh, trailer and uh, it'll catch instead of a weld breaking and you know it's coming loose possibly so yeah let's um let's get this trailer closer to the building so we can weld it we'll we'll drag out the welder and get this thing glued together all right so i cleaned up kind of everywhere we're going to weld anyway and we're going to slide the Let's slide that winch there, yeah. We're gonna put the uh, winch receiver in here and line it all up. Make sure it clears the way we want. Let me pin this if I can. Uh, pull it back towards you, son. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Out oh, too far. Come back. This, come this way. So with that pin in there, that's that's about where I want it to sit. But you got to think I want a little bit of room for a beetle weld. Yeah. So that's 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 pretty square. All we need to do is level it up. I th wait. I say we leave it sitting on the trailer. So go ahead and pull it towards you a little bit more. It's too much room there. Pull it till it touches. Right there. Now, let's come this way about about that much right there. Give us some room to clear. All right. So let that sit there. That's touching. I say we just weld it right there, Gail. What do you think? Now that should be about where we want it, guess. Looks good to me. You wanna burn it in? Sure. Um, let me put one or two more tacks on it, then we'll pull that winch out and you can weld it up. All right, then. A big old gap over here. You must have cut this side out. Whoa, 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 buddy. <laughs> Where was the. You didn't, you didn't help me this one. Here, pull that winch out of there. It's good enough. It ain't going nowhere. Just drag it. Through. There you go. Look at there. Beautiful. Probably need to weld this in from this side first. Fill it in a little bit and then we can weld it from the back. I want it burn in real good because people are going to see that. Well, I want them to say, boy, that's a good wheel there. You oh, God. Good. Huh? I said, oh, God. No pressure, right? Yeah. Looks pretty good, yeah.
Oh, Gav. Looking better, buddy. Hit it anyway. Woo! Hey, that ain't too bad of a cut, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll smooth that up. We'll throw some paint on that and color done, won't we? Yeah, cat yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cat yellow. <laughs> So there's what we've ended up with. See how crooked Gavin weathered it in there. Well, I'm the one to cut the hole. <laughs> want to tack it in. Uh, so we're gonna sit this winch in here and see uh, see kind of what it looks like. So my plan is just to uh, set the battery down in here whenever I go to use it, or, or set it up on the deck and strap it down somewhere. But probably just strap it down here where I keep all these uh, uh, blocks set. So yeah, let's set it in here and uh, see how she looks. Here, put that pin in there. Is that lined up? You need to go a little farther back. Where do you need to go? I don't know. Right there. Yeah. Now put that this through here. This. Now, look at our boss man's surprise. That's where it's going to sit. Job, man. Yeah, there we go. So you can see uh, kind of what I did here. I wanted this pin behind the frame of the trailer, so just if anything comes loose, which I doubt any of that will come loose, but at least it's uh, on the back side and it it does scoot it back a little bit. I thought about just welding it in there on that angle, but uh, I'm glad it done this way. It's scooted back a little bit. And you can see it's kind of off center on the trailer, but. Don't really think that matters. Most stuff we end up pulling up, uh, we use a tow, um, you know, like use one of the tow hooks on it, and um, it's never in the center anyway. So I believe that's close enough. I believe it'll be okay. But at least I can uh, take it out, put it on my truck if I need to, whatever. But yeah, glad to have that on there. So you can see we got it kind of angled down where the winch sits on the deck of the trailer. And I believe it'll be okay because most of the time the hard part of the pull is when it's coming up on the ramp. So down low should be a little better for that, I guess. I don't know. But oh well, we'll see what it does. Give it a good test out. Uh, maybe this week I got, uh, got new projects coming, like I say. So this may or may not come in handy. So we'll see yeah looks good all right uh let's get on with something else start her up kyla put it in the video oh yeah i did not like that 